Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! The Moon Seems to Change by Franklin M. Branley Illustrated by Barbara and Ed Imberley Tonight, take a look at the sky. See if the moon is there. It may be big and round. It is a full moon. Maybe you will see only part of it. It may be a quarter moon. Or it may be only a little sliver. It is called a crescent moon. As the nights go by, you can see changes in the moon. After the moon is full, you see less and less of it. There are three or four nights with no moon at all. Then you see more and more of it. The moon seems to change. It really doesn't. It seems to change because the moon goes around Earth. As it goes around, we see more of it. The moon gets bigger. It is a waxing moon. Or we see less of it. The moon gets smaller. It is a waning moon. Half of the moon is always lighted by the sun. Half is lighted and half is always in darkness. It's the same with Earth. While one half of Earth is having sunshine and daylight, the other half is getting no sunshine. It is night. A day on Earth is 24 hours long. Midnight, start. 6 hours, 6 a.m. 12 hours, noon. 18 hours, 6 p.m. 24 hours, midnight, finish. A day on the moon is almost a month long. Start. About one week. About two weeks. About three weeks. About four weeks. Finish. It takes the moon about four weeks to go around Earth. Start. About one week. About two weeks. About three weeks. About four weeks. Finish. As the moon goes around Earth, it is sometimes between Earth and the sun. The dark half of the moon is facing us. We cannot see any of the lighted half. This is called new moon. Dark side of the moon facing us, so we cannot see it. New moon not in night sky, so we cannot see it. A night or two later, the moon has moved a little bit along its path around Earth. We can then see a small part of the lighted half. It is called a crescent moon. We see it just after sunset. It is in the west, where we see the sun go down. You may be able to see it before the sky is dark. Sometimes you could see it in daytime. Each night, the moon seems to grow. The moon is waxing. We could see a bit more of the lighted half. About a week after the moon is new, it has become a first quarter moon. It looks like this. Sometimes you could see it in the afternoon before the sky is dark. After another week, the moon is on one side of Earth and the sun is on the other side. We can see all the lighted half of the moon. It is a full moon. We see it in the east as the sun sets in the west. We can't see it in the daytime. Each night after it is full, we see less and less of the moon. The moon is waning. In about a week, it is a quarter moon. This is third quarter. It can be seen after midnight. After that, the moon once more becomes a crescent. Each night, the crescent gets a bit thinner. We would see it later and later at night, long after we're usually asleep. A few days later, we cannot see the moon at all. 
It is once again a new moon. About four weeks after the moon is new, we have another new moon. Two or three nights later, the moon has become a thin crescent. Night after night, the same changes occur. Keep watch on the skies and you will see the changes. New moon, crescent, first quarter, full moon, third quarter, crescent, and back to new moon. Altogether, the changes are called the phases of the moon. You could do your own experiment to show the phases of the moon. You'll need a good flashlight, an orange, a pencil, a marker, and a friend. Stick the pencil into the orange. Push it in far enough so the orange doesn't fall off. With the marker, draw a line all around the orange. Start and end where the pencil goes into the orange. Make a big X on one half of the orange. The orange will be the moon, and your head will be the earth. The flashlight is the sun. Hold the orange a bit above your head so that you have to look up to see it. Turn it so that the X is toward you. Have someone on the other side of the orange shine the flashlight on it. Do this in a dark room. The darker, the better. You cannot see the lighted half of the orange. It is a new moon. You see this. Stand on one spot. Turn your body a bit while holding the orange in front of you and a bit above your head. Always keep the X toward you. You will see a small part of the lighted half. It is a crescent moon. Turn until you see this. Keep turning and soon you will see more of the lighted half of the orange. It is a first quarter moon. Keep the orange above your head and turn some more. Soon you will see all the lighted half of the orange. The moon is full. Keep turning and you will see less and less of the lighted part of the orange. You will see one quarter of it, the third quarter moon. Then you'll see a thin crescent. When you have turned all the way around, you have seen all the phases of the orange, the phases of the moon. You held the orange so that the X on it was always toward you. That's the way it is with the moon. The same half of it is always toward Earth. Until spaceships went around the moon, we had never seen the other half of it. This is the side of the moon you can see from Earth. The other side. Sometimes we see a lot of the part of the moon that is turned toward us, and sometimes only a little of it. The moon grows bigger and then gets smaller. The moon seems to change. It goes through phases because it goes around Earth. New Crescent First quarter Full Third quarter Crescent New. Which phase of the moon can you see tonight? New. Crescent. First quarter. Full. Third quarter. Crescent.